This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Yeah man my viewers and subscribers So Team Jamaica over there in Tokyo all the way Another couple of medals to add to our tally Yeah man The 110 meter hurdles final for men We got two medals there Ansel Parchment taking gold in 13.04 and Ronald Levy coming through for the bronze in 13.10 so you know two good medals there I mean we're expecting maybe one because we had um Grant Holloway of the United States of America who was you know he probably would have went in as the favorite but Parchment dealt with him real good and Grant Holloway was a only able to walk away with the silver medal Running a time of 13.09. So I want to tell my viewers and subscribers. You know, I mean this was especially very refreshing. Because both athletes that got those medals for us. They are athletes that are usually very injury prone. You know Parchment usually suffers with a lot of injury. Same thing with Levy. You know would have done a couple of surgeries and things. But they got it right at the right time and i must say my viewers and subscribers i am really happy that things turned out this way because you know a lot of persons were actually watching to see how things would turn out especially seeing that our number one hurdler omar mcleod you know was not able to represent us you know he's actually at home watching the games so we are indeed happy that mr hansel parchment was able to go out there and secure gold. And I don't want us to behave as if we want to undermine or underplay what Mr. Levy achieved also. Because getting a bronze medal at the Olympics is something that a lot of athletes won't ever live to, to do. You understand? So we must big him up just the same. And, you know, uh, the 110 meter hurdle, it's another program that is fastly growing in Jamaica. Because we have a lot of youngsters coming through. We have people like Vashan Vassiani, we have Broad Bell, we have um, Russell. A lot of young uh, 110 meter hurdle, hurdlers coming through. But I, I must say guys, this one here is, as I said a little earlier, very refreshing, very fulfilling. You know, seeing that these guys would have gone through so much. And, you know, both of them very injury prone. And they were able to get it together at the right time. You understand? And, you know, Ansel Parchment, he would have won bronze at the 2012 London Olympic Games. But, you know, since then, he has always been there and there about. But for him to come into the finals here and, and, and upset Grant Holloway like this, you know, it, it, is, it is indeed a good achievement. And I want to tell you, know, for those who saw the race, you would know that, you know, he actually got a poor start. You know, Grant Holloway was leading, leading all the way up to maybe about 90, 95 meters there about. You know, going over the last hurdle going there, you know, Parchment really stepped on the gas and was able to nip him or to clip him and put in a good little um, dip at the finishing line there to secure a goal. And the funny thing why a lot of Jamaican people will be extremely happy for a guy like Parchment, very humble always keep his head down put in his work and you know I, I remember hearing a coach saying the other day that you know parchment know exactly what is at stake so him going into this finals and executing just goes to show that he is indeed an athlete that really puts everything on the line for his country so the mere fact that he went out and 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 was able to to, to get things together at the at the, the right time just goes to show that he's a clutch athlete and i i just want to add my viewers and subscribers i am extremely happy that we're where this 110 meter hurdles here is concerned you know it is an athlete that actually went to the to the to the to the national trials did what was asked of him got himself on the team and now he's in tokyo delivering you know, we didn't have to put a man in the race or on the team 
that did not qualify to go and represent us. So this is what is going to let this victory feel even way better. You understand? Can you imagine if we had we had we had gone and put you know an athlete on it that didn't necessarily qualify the right way then my, maybe the, the, the victory wouldn't have been that sweet but for somebody like a parchment that would have been working his socks off working his boots off to turn up like this and to take it yeah man my viewers and subscribers i we are extremely proud of him and as i said levy running a good race also running 13.10 for third also brilliant so that is two more medals on our tally thus far you know so we are up to what we are up to about seven now with a couple more races to, to, to come that we think we might be able to, to get some medals in. You know, we have the relays for men, the 4x1, the 4x1 for, for, um, for females also. And we have young Christopher Taylor, who is in the 400 meter finals. You know, we, we, are, we are not really pressuring him, but a youngster like that in the finals, you know, is going to be brave, he's going to go out there, he's going to lay it all down on the track. So who to tell what we might what, what, what he might come out with? As I said, not really pressuring him because it's his first Olympics going out there. Really happy to know that he made the finals, but you know, you never you never can tell what might happen. You understand? So we are indeed looking forward to Mr. Taylor going out and representing. But things are things are coming together real nicely. You know, here on Sports to the Bone, we had predicted um, eight medals. You know, we don't have a problem getting things wrong once it is beneficial or once it is you know better for the team so we are up to seven so i'm definitely hoping that a couple more medals will be added to the tally so we can come home um you know we can come home feeling joyful you understand and and this this 110 meter hurdles here these two medals they start a, they start a lively up back our spirit because you know the men didn't do anything much in the in the 100 and the 200 you understand so Getting these two medals here now sort of bring back some joy to the thing. You understand? So the camp is definitely feeling good. And once again, my viewers, I must say a big shout out to these athletes. You understand? Because our track and field is growing, you know. The mere fact that we are actually carrying home two medals in the 110 meter hurdles. You know, which is an event that we don't usually do very well in. You know, in 2012 when Hansel Parchment won that bronze medal at the london games it was it was it was really exciting times and we were saying that well seems as if we are stretching or spreading our wings and to see a couple of years forward we are getting two medals it just really shows that our track and field is growing shows that the coaches are putting in the work and you know generally speaking we are becoming a more all-rounded track and field unit you know, no longer are we expected to dominate the 100 and the 200 only on the relays. But we are also expected, once we turn up at a track and field event, Jamaican, our athletes are always expected to do well, not uh, whatever the events that they are in. So, once again, my viewers and subscribers, Hansel Parchment and... Uh, Mr. Levy bringing home two medals for us. So, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, we're going to leave this one right here for now. You understand? A very fitting way to end off tonight's session. So, sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Guys, I'm going to ask you to please remember to like and share each video. Also, leave a comment if you have not yet subscribed. Please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. Remember to tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel as we are well on our way to 5k subscribers. Sports to the bone. I'm out. Big up on yourself.